trying to condense all those reps into a short amount of time. And it's going to really work on that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. It's going to really pump a lot of blood to the working muscles. You already know, today we're starting out in the garage, and today I'm going to be bringing you my upper body day. Now, I've said this in the last couple of videos, if you guys watch my cutting routine, and I keep reiterating it, the routine that I've been on now, strictly following, I've been doing a push, leg, pull, day off, then I have an upper, then a lower body day. So if you look at it as a seven day period, I train five out of those seven days with two days off. So if you guys have been watching, which I hope you have been following all of my routines, this is the exact routine that I'm going to be following for the next couple of weeks. And you guys are going to see how I'm going to progressively overload and build size and strength in the same exercises, the main movements that we're trying to get better in, the specific exercises for calisthenics, and the best exercises that are going to help build your physique. So if you guys have been following, like I said, I have a pull day, leg day, push day, day off, then an upper body day. So today is going to be that upper body day. So technically it's the fourth workout day of the week. Yesterday was my off day, and if you've watched my videos, if you've been following along, you'd see what I do on my off day, what I call a trigger session, active recovery type workout. So today we're starting off this upper body day with barbell bench press. One movement that I'm really trying to get stronger at and get better at. So if you watched the last push workout on my hypertrophy day, I was doing sets of seven to eight with uh, 175. So now again, this is my upper body day. We're gonna go in a lower rep range. We're gonna go for 185 for three sets of five today. We're gonna do a quick warm up of 135, then do another warm up, then get into 185. Alright, warm up set two, 165 on the bar, gonna go for eight reps. Alright guys, working set one. So remember, this is going to be geared more towards strength right now. I'm going to be working in that lower volume rep range. The goal is to hit three sets of five reps with 185 on the bar. I'm going to take about three minute breaks in between each set. And you saw I did the two warm up sets, 135 and then 165. Rested about three minutes after that second warm up set. Should be pretty fresh right now. Five reps, 185. Let's get it. All right, that was step one. Felt pretty good, pretty solid. So again, three minute break. I'm gonna to try to get two more sets of five reps at this 185. And then we're gonna do one more exercise for shoulders, a sculpting exercise. Then we're gonna to head to the park, finish off with calisthenics. Let's get it, set two, 185, five reps. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, set two, a little tough, but caught up to five reps. We'll rest again, three minutes. Set three, strong five reps. Let's get it. Ha, right, let's go. Set three, strong five, let's get it. guys that was three sets five reps 185 remember this is geared more towards strength this is just my upper body day I'm gonna be training full upper body day I'll be hitting chest shoulders and back and tomorrow will be my lower body day remember this will be considered my fourth workout day of the week and today's focus for this first workout strength for bench press bench press I'm moving on I'm hitting at least two sometimes three times a week I'll throw it in even on I did when I'm not supposed to train it and just do very low intensity, going through the range of motion, just trying to perfect it. Now guys, the reason why I'm doing these compound movements, bench press, shoulder press, squatting, is gonna increase your overall absolute strength. Remember, there's two types of strength, relative strength, absolute strength. Relative strength is how strong you are compared to your body weight. Absolute strength means how strong you are compared to what you can lift externally, right? So for me, I have a weak absolute strength for bench press, I would say. Because, in my opinion, it's pretty weak. I mean, maybe in number-wise, it's not bad. I'm, I only weigh 165, bench 185 for five. But, I mean, I do have a goal of being on bench 225 for reps eventually. But when it comes to, like, weighted pull-ups, stuff like that, I'm pretty strong. So that would be considered relative strength to my body weight. And absolute strength now because I'm pulling an external load. So, two types of strength. And, again, next, uh, next push day, you'll be seeing me doing hypertrophy-based bench again. Remember... Last time I was hitting 175 for sets of 8. Now we're either going to go to 180 or we're going to go to 175 for sets of 10, depending on how I'm feeling for the day. So, one more exercise in the garage. Just is going to sculpt our shoulders. Remember, when you're training in the park, right, or calisthenics, I told you guys all the time, my overall goal is to sculpt your body using bodyweight training only, right? You can, but then there are certain movements that are more beneficial, such as isolation movements, to be done with something in your hand, like an external load, like a dumbbell. Remember, dumbbells are still gonna let you work in space, right? Your arms are gonna move in the range of motion they wanna move in. It's not gonna be so much fixed like doing barbell work. So what we're gonna do now, you guys see me doing a bunch of times, side lateral raises, really good for the overall development of the delts to get that 3D look, and we'll do some back rear delt flies. Go to the park, work on more shoulder work, Handstand push-ups, and again, finish with the full upper body work. Now, stay tuned. It's going to blast out these shoulders right now. Now we moved on to some drop sets. So after three sets of 25 pounds, we moved on to 15 pounds, then we went to 10, and then five. So this is the triple drop set after the third set at 25 pounds. And this was really just to pump a lot of blood and blow up the delts. By the time I got to five pounds, it was really hard to even lift that five pounds. It felt like 25 pounds all over again. So that's how you blow the shoulders up, pre-exhaust them, head to the park after this. Let's go. Alright, so just got back from the garage, you guys saw, 
started with the bench press strength work, 185, three sets of five. Then I went straight into those side delt and rear delt work, blasted off the side delts. I didn't record any of the rear delt work, but as soon as I was done, those four sets of side delts with the drop set, I did three sets of rear delt flies. Blew the shoulders up, now I'm gonna come here, start the routine off with some handstand push-ups. I'm gonna be going back to wall and be using this as support. I'm just gonna be trying to get some volume work in. Trying to get at least six reps per set to stay in that hypertrophy rep range since when I came the other day and I was doing those deep handstand push-ups, I failed on the hypertrophy rep range and I was working in that more in that three rep range because it ended up being too hard of a movement for me. So, trying to hit six reps each set right now. Handstand push-ups back to the wall. Let's get it. All right, six reps, set one, went for seven, failed halfway through it, ended up losing my balance. Set two and set three, I expect to be a little better. My body will be more acclimated to the movement. So I'm gonna rest like two minutes, go for set two. Let's get it, let's get it, set two. Now remember guys, I'm literally showing you the exact routine that I'm following. Now I also mentioned this, if you guys do not have access to weights or do not feel like doing any barbell movements and only wanna do calisthenics, Ignore the first clips when I'm ever I'm doing weightlifting. Ignore it. You guys do not have to do those exercises. Those are goals and strength that I want to work on personally. It is not going to be a big difference if you work on them or not for your calisthenics. It'll make you stronger, but it will not impact your physique and the overall training we do in the park. So if you don't have access, stick to the park workouts if that's all you got. Six reps again, which is good. I'm failing on the seventh rep. That means next time I go for this, I got a goal to hit three sets of seven. And remember, my shoulders are a little fatigued right now after doing the bench press and all that side lateral work. The side lateral work is gonna fatigue the delts, it's gonna pre-exhaust them, make the next movements harder, but these are gonna get more effective when I'm trying to train them fresh also. So, and I'm telling you, right now my shoulders are blown up. I'm really feeling it a lot, just from doing these two sets, plus those side delts and those rear delt work. So, after this, we're gonna go on some weighted work. One more set of handstand push-ups. Let's go, let's go, strong set three. So you saw set three, I ended up catching the seven reps. I rested a good two and a half minutes that set too. Let my body really refresh. I wanted to get a good set three. So three sets, handstand push-ups are done. Told you it's gonna be a full upper body day. You already saw me train bench press. That was working on my overall absolute strength, right? Bench 185, three sets of five. Then went on to some more isolation work for the delts. Remember, I told you, the goal of this channel is to show you how to build your body using just calisthenics but I'm gonna show you the best workouts that are gonna benefit you overall too. The compound movements, the, the compound movements, the basics. So now we're back in the park, gonna finish the routine, all calisthenics. Now, if you don't have access to a bench and you couldn't do those first workouts, don't even worry about it. The routine that you're seeing right now is gonna be plenty effective, trust me. That's just extra work. Remember, listen, I've been training for years. I can handle the volume, I can handle the load. This next routine that we're gonna be getting into is gonna be very high volume, very effective. And I'm gonna be doing it weighted, with the 50 pound kettlebell. Now, if you guys can't handle that load or you're just doing body weight, just do the equivalent workout with body weight. It's gonna be very effective. Training the full upper body right now. Let's get it. All right, so told you. Next up, we're gonna be working on a weighted routine. This is gonna be pull, push, supersets. I've been doing a lot of weighted pull, a lot of weighted dip training lately, as you guys have seen in my strength days and in my hypertrophy based days. So I got this 50 pound kettlebell right now. We're gonna be going for a five minute drill. This is gonna be something different than you guys never saw before. This is gonna be five rounds. We're gonna to try to hit it as fast as possible. Five pull ups with the 50 pounds, straight into 10 dips. We wanna hit five rounds of that in under five minutes. The goal is to complete it in five minutes or less. So we're gonna strap up. And again, the goal is to complete each set unbroken. The five pulls must be unbroken. The 10 dips gotta be unbroken every set. We're not trying to break up right here. 
So that's the goal, and that's how you guys can progressively overload if you can't complete it. Time the routine, see how long it takes you on your first try, and then try to beat it next time you come. And again, if you guys can't do it with the 50 pounds, do it with 20 pounds, do it with 10 pounds, do it with body weight. 5'10", it's a great routine to build endurance and overall strength. Remember, the pose, you're gonna be working in that lower volume rep range, that strength training rep range, but you're gonna be doing five sets, the breaks are gonna be short. So it's gonna be almost equivalent to doing like myo reps. You're gonna be keeping the pump, the blood, and the muscles a lot. It's not gonna have a lot of time to disperse, so the reps are gonna be very effective. Same thing with the dips. The dips, we're gonna be hitting 50 reps relatively quickly with the 50 pounds. So it's gonna end up being short break periods because you wanna do this in under five minutes or as fast as you can. So, 50 pounds, let's get it. And I'm gonna time it on my stopwatch. Stopwatch. One, two, let's go. Now remember, this does not have to be done with 50 pounds. Work at your level. If you can't pull 50 pounds yet, but you can still do weighted reps, maybe try with 25 pounds, maybe try with 20 pounds. If you need to, do it with body weight. Do it as fast as you can. Slowly progress, work up to your level. Let's get it. Remember, we're not trying to burn out right now. I don't want to fatigue too quick. Three minutes in. Come on. Let's keep it clean. Let's keep it clean.
go, guys. 355. One more round. Come on. Four minutes, 28 seconds in right now. Let's go. Stopped a little late just to show you 457 457 on the clock 457 you see it'll be up look look guys 50 pounds on five minute drill if you guys can't do it with the 50 don't matter do a body weight it's a great routine it's gonna help you build your endurance, your work capacity. It's gonna keep you honest. It's only five rounds. Five, ten. Five times as fast as you can. Time it, try to beat your time the next time you go. If you could do it in under five minutes, body weight, try doing it with some weight on. I did it with 50 pounds, hit it in 455. I wouldn't go to any heavier weights, I won't complete it. What I'll do is I'll try to do it a little faster next time. That's how I progressively overload. Staying at this 50 pounds like could really, really get the set down. So, it's a full body, full upper body routine that anybody can do. We'll rest a little bit. We're gonna get to one more routine and that's gonna be a wrap for the day. Remember, this is my upper body day. I already trained pull one day. I already trained legs one day. I already trained push one day. I had an off day slash trigger session and now I'm training full upper body again. Remember, first movement in the garage, strength based. Then we work towards more sculpting the shoulders, worked on a handstand push up as soon as we came here. This routine right here is really gonna work on your endurance, your overall strength, and your work capacity. Remember, you're doing a lot of, a lot of work in a short amount of time, where you're trying to condense the work into the shortest time, fastest time possible. So I hope you enjoy this routine. Try it out, tag me. Remember, five minute challenge, going around. Tag me, Bar Naturals. Let me see you do it. Stay tuned, let's go. All right, guys, so you just saw that five minute drill was really tough. Five pulls, 10 dips, five rounds, that was 75 reps, all done with the 50 pound kettlebell. The goal is to complete it unbroken. You guys saw I hit it in four minutes, 54 seconds. So now I've been resting about 10 minutes. Listen, if you guys are pressed for time and you only got a few minutes to work out, work on these five minute drills. Even if you don't have the kettlebell and you can't do that routine, work on the original five minute drill. 50 pulls, 100 pushes. Try to get that done in under five minutes. If it's challenging for you, trust me, it's gonna be a really good workout. Trying to condense all those reps into a short amount of time is gonna really work on that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. It's gonna really pump a lot of blood to the working muscles. And we're gonna be pumping up our whole upper body with these routines. Chest, back, shoulders. It's gonna get you a huge pump and it is gonna have muscle building benefits. Because remember, short work, short work time, a whole lot of reps are getting done. A lot of metabolic adaptations are occurring during that process especially as you start doing it faster and faster and getting better and better at it. So, you saw the first routine was done waiting. Now, the first routine was done weighted. Now we're gonna move on to the classic five minute drill, 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, trying to get that done now in under five minutes. So I'm a little fatigued right now, but like I said, I rested 10 minutes. Now let's get to it. Let me get a sip of water quick. All right, so 50 pull-ups, 100 push-ups, under five minutes. Stopwatch. Stopwatch. All right, ready? One, two, three. Whoops, not yet. 
resetting that. Ready? One, two, three. Use it. None of y'all stopping me. Don't need to ask. Chopping trees, planting seeds, planting schemes. Crossing eyes, starting T's Lines are blurred, I cannot see For I die, I'm top three For I die, I'm top three For I die, look This is the moment I waited I took all my options and weighed them This is an obstacle course But the losses are fatal I still put my cards on the table This is the march for the people who waited I basically started a label And told myself I'm the greatest Get in my way, it's a problem There's no other way I can say it Taking your favorite rappers and making a list Wiping my ass when I'm taking a shit You think you're the GOAT? I am an eagle I take him and drop his ass off of the cliff Off of the rip, off of the strength you shoot Shooting your shop, you shooting off blanks. Clip has been loaded, I don't sugarcoat it. I'm taking their bodies and building a fence. Making a suit for what's left. Wearing my suits with a vest. They told me shoot for the chest, but I went for the head and instead caught him some wearing the neck. I got a call and collect. There is a cause and effect. Taking my loss with respect, cause I know when I win, they gon' see me as a threat. I'm talking from east to the west. I say I'm the greatest, but I ain't the greatest. Uh, a lot of these rappers are great, but I step on the court, calling my shot, letting them know that I'm here to stay. No, I don't play. They seen the game, not anymore. I don't waste it away. Too much of my time, cause I've been afraid, but I'm not afraid, today is the day, look, this is the moment I waited, I already stated, I'll say it again, I don't have time for the games, but if I indulge, know that I'm playing to win, there is a fee, you gotta pay to get in, my patience wearing real thin, I thought that it was about talent, but it's about balance, that's facts, homie, send it to print, I am an eagle, I am the eye in the sky, all of y'all getting by, I want it all, not just a piece of the pie, fuck high fives, hellos and goodbyes, need four approvals, what keeps you alive, only because it's what feeds you inside, my highs got me hitting the stride, but my lows are a hell of a Y'all dropped off, but ain't staying with me I'm the antidote and I'm dope Yo, Gotta plan attack, plan the scope yeah. Take the shot of you bluffaloes If I'm lying, y'all the antelope, I can't call it None of y'all stopping me Don't need the axe, chopping trees Planting seeds, plotting schemes Crossing eyes, dotting T's Runs are blurred, I cannot see Before I die, I'm top three Before I die, I'm top three Before I die, bitch I'm crazy. 
crashing down on me Come crashing down on me It's a wrap for the full upper body day. You saw my routine, my whole workout routine. I told you guys, you can literally follow every video that I'm posting lately and get yourself a full workout routine that's gonna be tailored and structured perfectly for progressive overload and it's gonna give your muscles a sufficient amount of time to recover each workout. I train strength, I train hypertrophy on separate days and I lay it out for you guys in each video. It's literally in order. All these recent videos are gonna be coming out in order of the days that I train. So you saw the pull strength workout first, then you saw the pull strength, then you saw the push strength workout, you saw the leg routine, then you guys saw the pull hypertrophy training, then you guys saw the push hypertrophy training. I didn't film the leg routine, but if you guys caught me on IG, I was posting all the clips on there. Now you guys saw my upper body routine, which I laid out this entire plan in the cutting video. Remember, pull, legs, push, day off, upper body, lower body day. So it's five training routines, within the week. Remember, don't look at it as a one week picture. Look at it as a bigger picture. I don't look at it as Monday through Sunday. I just keep going. So remember, today is a Friday. So I'm actually training this upper body day on a Friday. So that means tomorrow, Saturday is a lower body day. Sunday would be off, it just so happens to be that way. And then Monday, I'll be back on a pull strength based workout. So again, follow along with these videos. I'm laying out a full routine for you guys to follow along with progressive overload. I'm telling you the numbers, the rep schemes, the amount of weight you guys should be using. So again, hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You saw this is full upper body day. We did two five minute drills, and I didn't even mention that last one that you just saw, the 50 pulls, 100 pushes. I ended up doing it in six minutes, 59 seconds. So I failed that five minute drill. But you guys saw the first routine it was really taxing, and I ended up hitting that in 454. So. Full upper body day, started with shoulders, hit chest in the bench press in the garage. Remember, that was just bonus. You guys don't have to do that. And then we finish off with these two five minute drills. And remember, these push pull routines, they're not just gonna be training chest and back. When you're hitting dips, when you're doing these pulls, you're gonna be hitting rear delts, you're gonna be hitting the front delt. Shoulders are gonna get, be worked too, core, everything. So tomorrow will be a lower body day and then back to pull strength. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Bar natural. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, I'm top three. For I die, look.